What's going on guys? Welcome back to, well, the, not, this is our first ever episode of LP Vlogs. Yes. I'm too used to sort of doing the introduction of our first channel, Let's Prop In. So Let's Prop In is a channel focused at showcasing some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. But this is our second born Let's Prop In or LP Vlogs rather. I should get the name right yeah. before we continue. Yeah. Anyways, what we want with this channel or our intention with this channel is just to share more of the behind the scenes of what we get involved in. I realize with Let's Prop In, it's, it's more focused on one home and just that tour, but we just we realize there's so much more that we can share with you guys, such as the behind the scenes, maybe if it's a two bedroom apartment, three bedroom apartment, things that are more sort of relatable to a lot of our subscribers. I know it's more relatable to us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> more relatable to us so yeah. it'd be very valuable to share that with you guys as well yes. but yeah today literally at uh, one of the best dealerships in Sanson. yeah one of the best dealerships in, in Sanson, Faro Automotive or Faro Investment as some of you may know it um yeah we're gonna show you around a bit of what's going on here but speaking of behind the scenes I'm Neil I've never introduced myself on the channel always but, uh, behind yeah, the expect, scenes yeah always behind the scenes so expect to see more of me here on the channel uh, as we'll be, yeah, we'll be behind the scenes. So yeah, we're just gonna start off here, show you guys around, and please spam the comments below if you want us to do more of this type of content. I know I love cars, so you know we've added cars into our other channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to Let's Prop In and you'll see some of our content there. But yeah, spam the comments below uh, so you can show Faro some love so they know that uh, we'd like to have them on our channel again. So yeah, like today we're just going to, after like sort of looking at the dealership, seeing some of the cars, my favorite so far that we've seen is the AMG GT. I think you know this yeah. since I was two years old. <laughs> um, after this, we're going to go see one of the biggest developments in Santon. This is the At Santon Hotel. We're going to be meeting up with one of our good friends, Mike, which is an agent specializing in sort of the Santon, Johannesburg area. He's going to be showing us one of the most expensive penthouses in Santon. So you guys have to stick around for that. And yeah. as Noah has said, if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe, like, notification, you guys know the script. Let's go. So made it all the way back to Santon and we currently seated, seated at, at Santon Hotel waiting for Mike. Mike's the agent basically with the mandate to lease out the building. So we're meeting up with Mike. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's actually on his way now. What's up? Welcome to Axiopolis. This this is Mike. Finally, well, this is the first episode, but finally on the channel. Yeah. Um, I think we're starting, we're starting with a bang. Yeah, no, we are. This development, I'm super psyched to show you. Uh, something quite what, special. What are you seeing today? So, what you so I think today I'm going to give you a tour of the precinct. Okay. Actually, uh, actually, you can see the premises, everything that we have to offer here. This is one of a kind. It's a whole city within a building. Okay. Um, so I'll show you the premises, and then I can show you a one bed, a two bed, and a three bed. And then, yeah, maybe we show you something really, really special at the end, our yeah. penthouse. If you guys want to see the most expensive penthouse in Santon, stick around and we'll show you at the end. So let's begin this tour. Fantastic, yeah. So let me start off by showing you, just explaining a little bit how the building works. Yeah. Uh, so it's basically shaped in a, in a U like this. Mm. And on this side here in front of us, we have an apartment wing over here. Okay. And then this side on my right, we have an apartment wing over here. And then in the middle is the hotel. Okay. A big thing for the developers when building this uh, is security. So it's an entire precinct, a whole city within one premise and they have private security for all of this. It's a big, big thing. Amazing. Uh, so with your access card that you need to get given, you're only going to get access to your wing and then only your floor on top of that. There is one exception though, and that is if you opt into as a resident, if you opt into the gym membership, uh, okay. you're going to get access to the third floor of the hotel. And I think that's a good place for me to take so you first. So are they sort of like long-term stays and short-term stays? Yes. So obviously, if you're in uh, the hotel lobby, you have to have a bar in the hotel. So this is the first bar. I'm going to show you three bars just for the building. Three bars uh, in three this whole bars development. In the whole development yeah. Excluding our, our retail spaces where we have um, people, you know, private bars and things okay. like that. It's specific to the building. And this is the first one over here because you have to. It's a hotel lobby. For sure. So inside here, we're going to have our spa. Uh, okay. What we have here, you can get any treatment that you want, really. We also have a steam room and a sauna inside. Uh, you'll obviously need to pay for your treatments, not including your rent or anything sure. like that. But uh, it's an awesome space to have. Uh, very luxurious as well. Okay. Uh, and then behind us here, yeah. as you can see, embraced in marble this everywhere. This is insane. This is the hotel entrance up to the rooms and that. Sure. So, so from already from this, you can almost like 
we have an idea of what to expect in terms of like the level of finishes. There was absolutely no need to have this much marble, <laughs> but this high. if you can do it, why not? And then pool bar. This is the pool, okay. the bar, and the gym. And this is actually what you get access to for that extra little portion on top of your rent. Wow. Um, do you know how much that extra portion is? Yeah, we're looking at about 300 rand a person. Oh, on that's top, really nice. On top of your on rent. Top of your rent. Yeah. Um, if you're in the hotel, however, uh, or the Airbnb as well, from what I gather, uh, it is included in that. So this is our second bar. Okay. Uh, so this is the two of the three bars over here. This one here is for more private events. You can book it out. On the weekends, it gets really, really busy. So in fact, from, from in about two hours time, we're gonna start seeing some movement here. And then this here is our gym. So what's super, super convenient about this is it's open 24 seven. 24 seven. 24 seven. So sometimes, you know, you have a bad dream, you need to fight some demons. It's a nice place to just come down. I mean, we even have like a bench press, and squat rack. Sure, uh, not what, a lot of what, hotel what gyms weight offer is that. This? So, Spear, do you still have it in you? Nah, not, not at all. Is this 45? Yep, that was your daily We go all the way up to 60, so I don't think you should stop there. Man. You guys want to have 70? <laughs> come on. I'm sorry, man. Come on, no. man. That's, that's, you that's should come a... get a place and I'll make sure they stock it up. <laughs> See, lovely views as well if you're on the treadmill over here. Um, lovely views of the rest of Santa as well. The sun rises right in front of us over there, so sometimes if you know, have a nice early early morning session, it's quite an inspiring view. So we have two pools. Uh, this one's the more private one, specific to the hotel, and once again, the people that have the gym membership. But I love it. I mean, looking straight out there, some stunning views over the Bryanson Hills. You can actually and see Macaulay'sburg, yeah. And what is up there? These here are bridge units. Okay. So I'm going to take you there. One of our three beds that I'll show you will be up here uh, combining. So this is the hotel section over here. Okay. And this is the residential wing. And mm. these units here are actually split between the hotel and the residence. This is very, like the scale is very large. How many apartments do you have like in the hotel and like in the residential So side? the count on the hotel, um, I'll need to confirm it, but it's upwards of 500, okay. maybe 510. And then as for the residential side, 470. Okay. 470. So we're looking at just under a thousand units in the in the precincts, excluding the retail spaces, yes, the shops, yes. all of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, rates in the hotel are about like 1,600 rand a night. Per night. Per night. Yeah. Okay. Which is a little bit higher than a little bit higher than uh, the average here in Santa. And but that's the reason being. Um, it's a complete mixed-use development. I'm gonna go take you downstairs now and show you all the retail space that you have available to you. Also, backup water, backup generator, it's an essential. And un unfortunately, not a lot of the older hotels and that are offering that at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, just something that you're gonna to have to have here in. Imagine having no shade in a hotel. I mean, come That's, that's. <laughs> no, no, that's us. You pay 1,600 Rand a night and then. It seems like they're literally trying to make a situation where you never have to leave the, the entire building. Exactly. So the name of the building is Axiopolis, which is a Greek, a Greek name for the city of worth. And that's the thing is it's a whole city. You should actually never have to leave. It's a city under a roof in one building. And what says it better than a whole grocery store inside? We actually have room service now where if you really? wanted to get some some groceries, things like that. So you literally, literally just call the number and they go straight up to the unit, they drop at your doorstep. But if you did want to come shop, we still have marble inside the deli. <laughs> whole charcuterie section at the back there, whole cafe, something quite special. So yeah, all your convenience goods, everything you'll need. It's quite a, quite a big space. Yeah. And yeah, also branded specifically into the hotel. I mean, doesn't get much better than that. So a nice little space to have and it also comes with the liquor store, right next door. <laughs> I saw one time they did have so, an event here. Yes. So do they sometimes host on this space here? They do, they do. So this is actually kitted out for a lot of our um, restaurants and bars okay. and spaces like that. That's what the space is created for. And then they also host, for example, the opening of the building. Oh wow. They had massive tables out here, stages. Uh, artists performing, mm. great light show, all of that in the middle of the piazza. Right now, we have our first um, client, which is Pereira, yeah. which is uh, African cuisine, high-end bar, uh, great addition. Mm. Uh, and yeah, these retail spaces are still um, opening up now, but this is all basically set out for restaurants. You can have your seating outside, live music in the mm. middle, full piazza, and then you get this. 
Yeah, I think this, this when we arrived and we looked up, I mean, this is crazy. Complete glass building, man. It kind of reflects the sky. Okay. I'm still going to take you up to the second level. Okay. That's when you get the rest of our amenities and things like that. Okay. And then, yeah, once again, so this side here is our resident wing. Little is the hotel. And then this over here is resident wing as well. Wow. Yeah, two penthouses, one on the east tower, one on the west tower. Where are we about to head off to now? So we're going to go check out the rest of the amenities. I'm going to show you the hotel, restaurants, our conference facility, all of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's all on the second level over here. So let's go through. residential wing. This is all on the East Tower of the Venus I'm going to show you today. Okay. Um, and here you really see that hotel, uh, that hotel finish coming in. As you look down there, it's going to give off that hotel room vibe. The first one I'm going to show you is a one bed. And how much do these one bedrooms go for? They start at 11,000. Okay. And they'll go all the way up to probably about 14,000. Depending on... Unfurnished. Okay. And then furnished goes up to about 16,000. Okay. Incredible, um, cap, incredible right? views here. <laughs> Basically, we're seeing the entirety of the skyscrapers in Santa, the yeah. tall buildings here. Start off all the way at Morningside and you end all the way at Sandhurst. You're going to see all the corporates over here. There's the ENS building down there, directly opposite from us. That's Santa Sky. This is the um, this is Central Square, another one of our premium buildings here in Santa. And then obviously the one that immediately captures the eye is the Leonardo. Yeah, so sticks that, out. You know, sticks out over there to the right of it, the Michelangelo. And Michelangelo is probably the OG Samson building. So how these look, we've obviously just got this living area in front of us, just off of the kitchen. Uh, and then one bedroom on the left over here. Yeah. So yeah, this so really is love currently like a fully the... furnished package other than the, yeah, the beautiful use of wood actually. Mm. So the backboard studying, uh, and it all matches, which is also quite nice. Like but the actually flooring, see, yeah. yeah, the flooring as well. This is real hardwood, hair and bone detail. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, storage space behind here. Storage space in here as well. And then, yeah, the bathrooms in this development are probably my favorite. It's a massive, massive bathroom for one bedroom, right? Eh? Yeah. You would have like a, a seating space there. Yeah, marble vanity as well. Oof, this is beautiful. Yeah. And then next one I'm going to show you is a two bed. Perfect. Um, this is another two bed facing the city. Um, and this one starts unfurnished at about 14.8. Mm. Sure. This one here is about 70 square meters. So yeah, stunning open plan kitchen. Really good. Guest bathroom just off there as well. Very okay, nice. so it's one ensuite and then the guest bathroom separate. No, both ensuite. Both ensuite. Yeah, so there's actually two and a half bathrooms in this here. Ah. So that's probably our main. So a good place to start is probably go through to the uh, second bedroom here. I like the gray, the gray walls here. It works a bit better for my eye. Might put the backboards. Yeah, it's actually got this blue gray finish as yeah. well. Mm. The bathroom here, uh, basically the only difference would be that it just has a shower. It does not have the, um, does not have the bath, but the main will have the bath. This is the main. This is the main. Mm. Through here, yeah. This has like more space. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, much more space. Nice little corner finish as well. Maybe we open some, some curtains here. Oh. I see they've jammed them. But I mean, how nice is it? It's a nice rainy day, lying bed. This is literally like a stay cozy. at home, it's Netflix cozy. all yeah. day type of weather. Exactly. Quite stunning. And then, yeah, just off there, we have our main bathroom, en suite, double, double floating vanity. Double vanity. 14.8. 14 14.8, 14 yeah, starting unfurnished. Yeah. Furnished, we started about 18,000. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. But let me show you, this is our three bed. Okay, this is the first this bedroom here. Yeah. yeah, so this here is the first bedroom. Yeah. Sure. Once yeah. again, en suite, it's stunning views, same. great size, yeah. and a lot more covered space you'll see in the three beds. Sweet. So one thing that you'll see, notice about the orientation of this unit, it's very homely. You don't feel like you're necessarily in an apartment. That's what they got right. 
guest bathroom over here, and then the room you're going into is the main. And this is quite a quite a well sized. Sheesh! You even have a walkway in the main as well. Nah, unsuited bathroom. Yeah, um, nice one. Huh? They are now. Sheesh! And then the view. What are we looking at here? Oh, so study balcony over here. You definitely open it up. We've got this roof. Um, this one's a sheltered balcony. Basically, this is all the morning side in front of us. That ridge, which you'll probably capture on the camera, uh, that's Bryanson Hill. And then over that, on a sunny day, you'll be able to see as far as the Kalisberg Mountains. Uh, basically, as far as the eye can see, it's quite, it's quite stunning. And what is really nice, um, at night, if there's a lightning storm or something happening over the Mahadisburg, you're going to get the most insane lightning that you can just watch from your floor. It's honestly something quite special. Yeah, as I said, this one particularly one goes for about 31,000. Um, our three beds start at about 22, and they will go all the way up to, I think our most expensive one is 55. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you two orientations. Sure. This is nice. This it's is nice, fun. eh? It gives that home feel. Yeah. That's what's really, really nice about it, especially as you go and you, as you look into that kitchen. Yeah, because I'm seeing as well here, you have a separate Stand dining table kitchen. as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, this literally feels like a home because it's not like you even have, what's this side? A scullery. And I like that they still managed to make the stove, the stove top facing outside towards the view. Exactly, yes. And this is great for hosting because obviously you have your dining room table, your lounge space. Then this is obviously extended. So while you're cooking or whatever, entertaining, the guests can come sit up here, have a drink, you know. Yeah. Tell you this, you need to put more salt in the in the dish, <laughs> whatever that may be. And is this is this furnished? Yeah, this is how it would look furnished. Obviously, just some neatening up to do. Um, to speak a little bit more into that, like what exactly is offered, um, our fully furnished stuff comes with everything. You've got your cutlery, your crockery, all of that stuff. Yeah. You can obviously see the appliances. We have two single fridges. Um, we've got a small stuff, so like the toasters uh, and the kettles and all of that. We also have the dual function washer dryer. Uh, and then also it comes with a dishwasher. So even on the unfurnished option, you can keep all those appliances. Very generous. Sure. Yeah. And then we have one bedroom left. Crazy amount of like natural lighting pouring into this room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's really, really well oriented. Um, so in terms of this price range, I'll be honest, I don't, this is not my favorite three bed. Um, yeah. There is one which I think is far superior. I won't show you everything there, just mainly the living area. Okay. Uh, and you'll see in terms of speaking of natural light, uh, it's stunning. Coin, so coin. I think we should just go take a look at that one quick. So this particular unit is probably my favorite three bed orientation. And as you walk through there, you'll see why I quite prefer Oof. Definitely. <laughs> like this. this is awesome. This wraparound balcony here. Yeah. And now I have taken us down to the seventh floor. So the views do get supremely better, which you'll see in a second. Um, I show you have two different angles of a view, this side, Sanson, and then... And then you can go out to the Mahalisburg as well, which you'll see. Um, yeah, big balcony, is this balcony wrap? This is a wraparound balcony. You just go through there, all the way around. Also, you can open up these doors. In fact, let me do it, because it doesn't look like it's raining in this way. But what I love, speaking of like entertaining, I mean, that's, that's no, awesome. I can definitely see why it's your favorite. This, space. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite. And also, then the... with see-through balustrades, you can see the entire sort of landscape. Exactly, there. yeah. We are obviously low down. You're going to hear the hooting like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this obviously goes all the way up to the 20th floor, and then the 21st floor, which is our uh, East Wing penthouse, which we'll go to in a second. Um, that's obviously a completely different orientation, but it will have these views as well. Okay. And then another thing is the kitchen. I also like this kitchen orientation. So you have your dining room over here. Dining room table. table. Backsplash there. And then, yeah, the backsplash. I see, yeah, this light under here hasn't been installed yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I think the, the black was a great addition. It fits in very well with obviously the white mm -hmm. marble. Yeah. Uh, and then also the, the wood finish. Stunning, stunning, yeah. stunning. And, and does this come as it is? Yes, yeah, so With this is unfurnished, as you see, all the appliances. So the only thing missing is the furniture, uh, but it's generous for them to leave the appliances. This is uh, Gurnia. Gurnia is a, a Turkish brand, uh, not so big in South Africa. In fact, I think this is probably their first major contract here, but they got the contract for the whole building. Um, but yeah, it was between them and I think it was 
probably snake for the running. Okay. These guys took it, yeah. So very big in France and, and uh, I think it's the first time we, we've seen it. Sweet. Beautiful details around, man. Like I think this is it's very impressive. Like we've gone to a couple of developments, especially like in Cape Town, but this this does sort of pack a punch in terms of competing with those ones. It's very stunning. Like the small details, the simple finishes, the high quality, like these things, type, these types of light fixtures, these are, you don't need to have them in like apartments, but the fact that you do have it just increases that appeal of the whole development. Absolutely, and things as well, like the different ceiling heights, mm. um, which are functional as well, because as you can see, it is actually for aircon. Yeah. Um, also, they built in the fire extinguishers to come out of there as well. Okay. Um, but functional and, it, and it's stylish and the tucked away blinds and that, you don't see the rails, it's just, yeah, yeah very smart. What else do you have in store for us? So now I'm taking you to, to something very, very special, our first penthouse. Not our main one, okay. but our first one. And how many penthouses do you have in the whole? There are two. Building. There are two of two penthouses, completely different fits, as you'll see in a second. Okay. Um, the first one, so I'm going to tell you the price when we're up there. Okay. Give, give your viewers a second to guess, okay. and let's see how close they get. Okay. But yeah, this is going to be something quite special. So. Awesome. If you guys have been on this video watching until now, if you have enjoyed what you've been seeing, please share the video, like it, subscribe, and let's see, I think today or well, is it one of the most expensive penthouses in Santon or? From a rental perspective, it's the most expensive. It's not for sale, so we can't technically say it's the most expensive. Okay. So rental wise though? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if you guys want to see that, Subscribe, comment, like it, so we know you guys like these types of videos. And yeah, let's go. Fantastic. Cool. Let's go take a look.